Hi everyone, John Marquis here, your Builder CPA. And today I wanna to show you the useful features of the audit history in QuickBooks Online. So maybe you've been dragging your feet, giving someone on your team access to QuickBooks because you think they'll mess it up. Um, if so, maybe check out my other video about how to close and lock the books in QuickBooks. But maybe you're worried about something that they might mess up in the current month or you've already discovered that they've messed something up and you want to figure out who did it, how, why, and what was changed. So pretty much in every transaction, so I'm just gonna go back into the recent transactions of this QuickBooks file. So if I click the magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner, I can go to any of the transactions that were recently edited, and I can go down to the bottom, click on more, and then go to the audit history. And that's gonna give me a chronological order from most recent to oldest of all of the changes that happened on this transaction. And I can click any one of these and it's gonna show me exactly what changed. So it will show me things that were deleted, um, dollar amounts that were changed, and it highlights them in green when they were changed. So it can be incredibly helpful now, a couple notes, if you're using a job software like JobTread or BuilderTrend, whoever's username was used to link that software tool originally, it's gonna show as if all of those changes were made by that person. So it can be a little bit misleading if you have someone make an edit in BuilderTrend or JobTread, it flows into QuickBooks, and then all of a sudden you're seeing your own username over here, no, it wasn't you who made the change. It just happened to be you that created that integration. So in that case, you'll have to explore the job software and what kind of audit history they have. Now, a couple concerns though, if someone were to delete this transaction altogether, like here, if I were to click that button, there really wouldn't be a way to get back to the audit history. So one, line of defense that we have is if we go to the big gear icon in the upper right hand corner you know what let me just go ahead and delete this journal entry so we can see what happens um, so now i would never be able to get back to the audit history because i would never be able to find that transaction to begin with but what i could do is go to the big gear icon in the top right go into the audit log here and at least it will give me a little bit of information. So here it shows that the journal entry was deleted. I can go to view it and the history is back. Um, but you would have to know that the journal entry was deleted. So, you know, it's, it's there. It could be a little bit more difficult to get to, but at least you have it. Also in the audit log, you can filter based on user um, system admin, sometimes that does automated things like match things in the bank feed. You can ch you know, change the time and the event. I will note if you're working with an accountant, um, if they have a team that they've granted access to, it will most likely just give the name of their accounting firm. But if you're wondering exactly who made that change on the accountant's team, you can reach out to them because in their file, when they go to the audit log, it will show specifically which user on their team made that change. So as always, I hope that helps. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day.